I'm going to show you an exercise progression on this foam roller that uses balance to improve your core stability and inner strength. Let's get started. You're gonna turn the foam roller so you can lie on it lengthwise. Go ahead and sit on the base and begin lowering yourself down with your hands. When you get to a point where you can put your hands behind your legs, curl all the way down. Even that takes some balance. Make sure you can set your head on the end of the foam roller and let's check your pelvis position. You want to have a slight curve in the low back and for your pelvis to be in neutral. Let's also see where you're challenged in your balance. Legs wider apart is easier, narrower is harder. So find a position that feels good and check with your arms if you can stay stable in this position. If you can, this is a good place to begin. We're gonna place our fingers on the front of our hips and imagine that you have teacups that you don't want to spill. So you're gonna bring your belly button in and up, really engaging that core, and you're gonna lift up one foot at a time, just a tiny bit off the floor. If you're not feeling stable, you can begin by lifting your heel, but if you're feeling stable enough, I want you to try to lift the whole foot up. We're going to do five each side, and I want you to eventually work up to 10. Two, Three, keep the belly button in and up. Four. And five. It's easy to stop breathing, so I want you to continue to breathe through your chest here, but keep your lower abdominal area tight. The next level, if you're able to move up to this, is going to be to lower one leg at a time to the ground. You may want to bring your elbows down or your hands to give you more stability. You're gonna lift your knee, straighten your leg, Lift your knee back up and set it down. Alternating to the other leg, same thing. Keep the belly button in and up. We're gonna do four more on each side and I want you to work up to 10. Again, if this is easy, you can try lifting your elbows off the floor and really, really pulling the belly button in and up. Two more each side. It's okay if the foam roller moves a little, but you're trying to keep it stable. Excellent. Now we're gonna use a little bit more hand support for the next one. So place your hands down to begin. Bring your knees up above your hips in a 90 degree angle at the hip and knee. And you're gonna lower one leg at a time, opening up the hip angle. Again, you can use your hands for extra support. Just your elbows is a little bit more challenging. And I don't recommend lifting your elbows off the floor for this one. Keep your belly button in and up. We're gonna go ahead and do three more each side. I want you to start with five and work up to 10. Two more each side. Keep breathing. And one more. Place both feet down. Great job, we've got one more exercise to go. You're gonna bring a hand behind your head. Make sure that your abdominals are engaged again. And then reach up in between your legs and crunch. Reach and crunch. We're gonna do 10 of these. And I want you to work up to 15. Four. Each time really pull the belly button in and up and reach as high as you can. Seven. Hang in there. Two more, last one, really reach, 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 and then slowly lower that down. And then you're gonna bring your hands to the side and roll right off the foam roller, push yourself up. Congratulations, you just completed a progression on the foam roller that's gonna improve your core strength and stability.